hey guys welcome back to senegalese twisted today i'm back again with another review for maîtresse de nos mariés today i'm going to talk about the third episode of the third season and we're just going to get right into it the first scene starts with Merdian who is watching Lala's show on the television and she's actually praising Lala and saying that yeah girl say it how it is but also she's praying aloud that she wishes that Lala gets a husband soon a husband who will not make her suffer and a husband who will give her a lot of sons and someone who's good for her and Cher gets a little bit of agitated about that Cher asks his mom like can you stop with that why are you watching this don't rem don't forget that I am the one who divorced Lala and I did not want her anymore and Merdjain is like laughing so hard she just reminds Cher that you know what don't forget Lala she took off left off and she actually left with a lot of class and don't forget that and um, I think that she also said something in the lines of you know what um, if you leave your hour or if you put a lot of shame on your hour, which is your first wife um, Nothing else uh, Everything else you'll do afterwards will be cursed and I think that she's just getting at Cher who has now zero wives and Nothing is going right anymore for him then Cher reminds his own mother that you know what I'm your son you know in this whole story and Merdjang is like, and so, do you think that just because I gave birth to you, that my love for Lala, that it is, uh, it has melted away? I don't think so. If you want to um, do me a favor, please make sure that whatever you and Lala are going through, that it is solved with, um, in a lot of positivity, so that it doesn't end up in like a war then the scene comes on where Nura is actually calling um Lala on the show and she's saying that mom I'm alone and I'm all alone with baby Makodu and everyone is in shock then there are two scenes that are um, happening like parallel which is one side you have mommy and Jelika and on the other side you have Ben and Dalanda and Ben and Dalanda are just talking because Dalanda is um, saying to Ben that you know what your brother he he maybe like have a lot of flaws but one of his um, positive traits is that he is a good cook so Ben is like really um, teasing her and asking her like is cooking the only good thing that he can do and then she gets a package and um, the package is like for Dalanda and it says um, a queen should always be honored I love you Taihu and at the same time you have uh, Mami and Jalika who are talking and what they're talking about is mostly uh, Mami telling Jalika that you know what you should not be um, stressing um, you knew that he had had a wife and that she is now his baby mama because uh, what Mami doesn't know is that um, Jalika has been married Takasuf, so it's the secret marriage and um, Jalika is still lying about that so in uh, Mami, what Mami understands is that Jalika um, has married Taihu however Dalanda is the crazy ex who cannot get over her ex-husband so back to Ben and Dalanda, Ben is like clapping because her brother has been showing out lately has been um, showering Dalanda with gifts with everything so she's clapping and she's even praising her brother he did well he's working hard and um, what she does not understand and she brings it up to Dalanda she's like there's something wrong though because why is he still not living at this house why does he still have his own house there and Dalanda explains to her well it's the noise and the kids and Ben is like hmm so since when has has he been bothered by the no noise because first of all kids and noise their relationship is like forever it has been 
it, it, it belongs together and that is something that she cannot get over with why her brother needs to be at his other house so back at mommy Angelica because mommy is trying to um, console Jalika and telling her that you know what I know it's not easy and you just have to accept it it's complicated that she has a crazy ex to um, consider in this whole story and um, what she's trying to say mommy to Jalika is that you know what whatever happens you have to make sure that it's beautiful because in Senegal there's this um, thing that it's called Rafetal and it just literally means to beautify something and in this situation uh, what mommy understands and what she wants Jalika to understand is yes you have to deal with the crazy ex however you just make it easy you make it easy because it's not a fight you know your husband he is your husband you have the right and even Jalika is saying that you know what it's normal for me to actually be jealous because of what they had then we're back at Ben at Dalanda and um, Dalanda is asking Ben what are you thinking about because you can see her thinking and thinking and thinking and the expression that Ben uses is that Amnulu Nul Chisobi which means there's something black or something dark in the milk because if there's something dark in the milk you'll see it and she is just like so suspicious of it and she tells um, Dalanda about it and Dalanda's like oh my god if there's another woman I will kill him mommy tells Jalika that you know what it's a marriage it's not a war so you just have to do what it takes to get what you want she's saying that Jalika you are stubborn you are his wife you have to show him that you're his wife and you have to make sure that you bring out all your um, capabilities all your sexual things and make sure that if he does not give you what you want that the other person does doesn't get it either the ex and what is important about that is that Ben tells Dalanda the very same thing because she's like um, because Dalanda is just walking around stressed and she's telling Ben that you know what this time Ben if something is up I will not stop I will go just until the very end of it and I will not let go so Ben gives her the advice well Dalanda the only job you have in this world is to make sure that if um, Taihu sees another woman he's gonna think that other women are men Hashtag you are the only woman in his life to add to that um, Jalika and mommy are in the living room They're talking about it and at one point uh, Jalika points out to mommy that you know what he has this ex and she's always bothering him about sick kids about going to the hospital that she's sick that she has to go to the hospital this and that all these excuses Taihu comes in he's actually short he just greets them and he just continues then Jalika's like what the WTF and she um, follows him to the bath bedroom and she's asking him like what was this about this is mommy mommy's my best friend I have lied for you I have done everything for you I have accepted the takasu now what I want you to do is to put up in your best smile go downstairs and talk to my friend because she's my everything and since we've been married you have not done any effort to see my friends to see my family nothing all I've done is be stuck in this house and they actually fight about that because in Taihu's eyes he's saying that he doesn't like mommy but don't remember he said the same thing about Dalanda's friend um, Anchia but he also doesn't like the other girl um, Regina so I think he has just a problem so they fight about that and what Jalika tells Taihu is that you know what Taihu you better open up your heart and put mommy in there because you are gonna put on your best smile and do your best because in this whole marriage sham 
we all have to do our parts and that will be your part. Back to Sheikh and his mom. So Sheikh's mom is trying to calm Sheikh down, telling him that, you know what, you have to be easy. Um, you have to wait for the right time. If you want, we can call Biram. You and I, Biram, will go there and we'll talk to them. Meaning Lala, because the kids have been left alone at home. And Sheikh is telling his mom that, you know, mom, you are asking too much of me. I cannot do that. Then you see that Lala is so mad at that production woman. And she's telling this production woman that how could you have accepted the call from uh, Nura? And you did this on purpose. What is your goal? Uh, do you want my... Um, my household to actually break up do you want uh, my children to actually break up to be traumatized now the whole world or the whole country can know uh, my problems and she's so so mad and rightfully so because after lala leaves the woman actually just laughs then there's a short scene with Raki. she's walking outside and she sees police officers and she's thinking to herself what if I just go and turn myself in and it will be easier for Mustafa as well. But just as she's thinking that, Mustafa takes her away. They turn around, the police officer is like, hey, hey, what are you doing? And Mustafa saying, no, we're just walking. He's like, yeah, go home. And then you see that the woman that heard them whispering, um, she sees like the wanted poster for Mustafa and for Raki and she takes it out of the wall. Then there's a scene where you see the twins, they are on like Skype or something, talking to their grandmother. And what I understood is that it's uh, Talanda's mom and they're telling her, their grandmother that, you know what, every morning our mom with her big belly, she is teasing our father, telling him that she loves him and she even, you know, re uh, redid the whole scene there. And then the mom comes in, Dalanda, and she's like so, 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 so mad. And she tells the girls to get out. She takes the computer. She actually hesitates because she does not want to be confronted by her mom because she already knows what her mom thinks of Tairu. And she gets it because the mom is like, STFU, stop, shut up. Um, stop talking. If I'm there, I will get him out of the house. But of course, the mom doesn't know that Tairu doesn't actually live in the house. But apparently, the mom does not like Tairu at all. So then we see that um, Ben is actually getting into a house. But she's really, you know, suspicious and she's really walking softly, not making any noise. And then Taihu actually intercepts her and is like, what are you doing here? You're in and out of this house the whole day. What is your goal? And she's like, well, I'm just trying to see who you're living here with. Like, I want to see the rats, the roaches and the mice. And I just want to know what's good like who are you with here and um she's just trying to play it off as if she came here to actually um talk to him about money because uh, she also asks about why what kind of person are you you have a wife that's actually pregnant you have twins and they're at home you're not even taking care of them you are not even with them why are you in this house Taihu plays it off like, no, actually my goal was for um, Dalanda to move in here so we can have our family here. The excuse that he brings is that, you know what, I actually um, put the um, decor out, I uh, had an interior designer, I made everything so that she can actually come here, so I need your help to convince her to come and live with me here. And that's how he plays it off. I don't know if Ben actually believes it but it seems like she does and um, actually she eventually asks him for money and he doesn't want to give the amount that she wants and then he just gives her more because he wants her gone then there's a scene with Lala and she's on the phone and she's actually implying that Sheikh is the one who gave the phone to Nura so that she would call her mom on air and then the uh, maid or, you know, the babysitter comes in, Mahem, and she's actually just trying to announce to her that Sheikh is here. But um, Lala also has to give her 
a speech. The babysitter actually left the kids home alone and of course Lala does not accept this because that's not normal and she tells her that she has to pack all her stuff and be gone tomorrow morning. Next there is Jalika with her big suitcase trying to leave the house and of course Taiho is like what are you doing? Where are you going? And uh, Jalika tells him that she heard everything and she does not agree with it and she's just done with his lies and she just asks him to divorce him her then there's a scene with Merdjain, Cher and Lalla and okay so Merdjain is trying to Rafetal. So she's just trying to make it beautiful and she's like, um, wow, Lala, you look so good, you look so beautiful, thank you for um, having us, for your hospitality. And then um, Lala's like, okay, but what are you guys doing here? And Sheikh's like, I came to get my kids. And Lala's like, no, you will never, ever, ever get your kids. Sheikh's argument is that, you know what, if you don't have time for these kids I have time for them I can take them and what Lala tells him is like you know what Sheikh even if I'm dead alive I don't care what you will never have these kids we're back at Jalika and Taihu and Jalika seems to really 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 want to go Taihu is like you're the only one I want and um, of course J uh, Jalika is like everything you put me through all these lies I don't even know why you would lie so much and he's like yeah but i only do it for the kids so that the kids won't know and uh, dalanda cannot know and um what is so annoying to jelly guys that your kids are old enough to understand that their parents don't get along anymore like why the f don't they get that then we're back at Lalla, Cher and Merdjang and Merdjang is just trying to rough it all. She's trying to beautify the situation because what she says is like, you know what Lalla, um, whatever happens between you and Cher, your communication, you have to have some consideration, you have to make it beautiful because you have kids together and her point is more like, there's no need to fight about this, you guys are not together anymore. So just look at the kids and if you cannot look at the kids look at me and what Lala is saying is that you know what Merdjang I'm just so sick and tired of it even our little consideration our little mother-daughter bonding time forget it just bury it because it does not exist anymore and um, what Merjang also tried to say to Lala is that you know what you have your store you have your career if you feel like you don't have the time to on top of that take care of the kids just bring them to share i mean he is their father and he would actually take care of them if you don't have the time and um after lala said to merdjang that even their little consideration and mother daughter thing is like over share was like are you talking like this to my mom? And he was like getting really mad because he thought that that was really disrespectful. And then Lala told them both, you know what, Merdjan, you and your son, y'all need to get the F out of my house. And when that happened, it became a screaming match. Cher actually, you know, like, I don't know what he actually did. He took her wrist or he took her neck and that was it. Um, Merdjang actually still tried to make it beautiful and he, she was like, Cher, come on, let's just go, let her here, leave her here, let's go, let's go, let's go. Then we're back at Jalika and Taihu and they're still in the garden, she's still out there with her suitcase, trying to make a case, but we all know that she's gonna end up going inside the house and what she's trying to say that, you know what, everything you put me through, I accepted it. Takasuf, I accepted. Lying, I accepted. I came up with my lies because other people thought um, that our marriage was suspicious. And um, I came up with other lies as well and to make it a better story. So, you know what? I'll give you less than a month. You have to tell Dalanda that there is another Madame Doi that... Um, 
is in town and it's up to her to you know make it a fight or not but i think that she would be mature enough and i'm mature enough that she can uh, manage her marriage and i can mar manage my marriage and we'll make the best of it and what she did say is that i'll give you less than a month if you don't tell her i'll tell her she ends up saying that you know what what are you standing there get my suitcase inside i have some things that i want to uh that i need you for and this is what you wanted right this is the takasu that you wanted i'll show you who i am that was it for the third episode of the third season of maîtresse de nom marié don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys on tuesday and let me know in the comments if you have any questions don't forget to follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.